Hello, beta testers. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven. Seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but... Uh, like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. If you're a broke boy, just say so. If you're a broke boy, just say so. This is online e-girl celebrity, Pokimane. But for the purposes of this Thanksgiving video, this is multi-millionaire, Pokimane. Calling her audience, who potentially can't afford her overpriced cookies, broke boys. I don't blame her. I reiterate, she's a multimillionaire, so being disconnected, I guess, comes with the territory. But the fact of the matter is, many men who are online personalities know better than to provide reminders of just how immense the divide in income is. I do not highlight the male creators to emphasize a lack of self-awareness because some of the pay pigs, if you're familiar with that term, specifically seek this treatment, opting to be demeaned. Others, however, entertain the idea that they can achieve this level of success, maybe. <laughs> but outside of that genjutsu is the harsh reality that even with sharp wit, opportunities aplenty, and a high luck roll on your character class, you may stand a higher chance at winning the lottery than succeeding in the limited time that we have remaining to breathe. Like this video and comment or correct me below, these entities are well outside of the brackets of those who support them and afford a quality of life that allows them choice in whom they associate with, where they reside, and how they live. No longer rich, but wealthy. Enough disposable income to throw around and invest, maybe even buy property to rent out so that the money can make money. Pokimane is an e-celebrity, not a politician, and none of this is a call to arms to hold people like her accountable? What did uh, Jack Nicholson say about writing women? To articulate this bluntly, we don't hate the player, we hate the game, and we respect the hustle. I'm talking about her right now, so in a way, she has already won, but maybe not all attention is good attention. I highlight her gender and femininity because I objectively regard Pokimane as an attractive woman online who benefits from the success that she has because of that fact, especially considering how desperate feminists in every branch of entertainment have deliberately been uglying up even characters created from scratch when a downloaded default avatar would have started out more appealing than the examples I'm showing you here. I'm thankful for you, beta tester. If you keep liking and commenting on these videos, it'll go a long way in continuing to allow me opportunities that I'll never forget are luxury that others aren't lucky enough to qualify for. These people, I guess, should humble us. There are certainly people kinder, more skilled, and more capable of positive change than I would ever be able to with the use of my platform. And that's supposed to be the official story, right? That we're trying to impact in a positive way the world. It's my intent. And my thirst to distract and entertain comes from a place of knowing how valuable an entertaining distraction can be. I often use the analogy of bottles of carbonated beverages being shook up with nowhere for the pressure to go. Outlets like movies, TV shows, video games, and online entertainment can take the edge off. And it was awesome when it was allowed to kick everyone, but now it's only targeting specific people, and other people always seem to be right. <laughs> And believe it or not, the permanently triggered activists perpetuating these double standards have wormed their way into things like anime <laughs> to change the translations so that they can affect their change there as well. They've destroyed Hollywood, 
Netflix shows and She-Hulk show just how talentless and out of touch these wankers are, and they're admitting to using entertainment as a vehicle for the challenge that they wish to uh, push onto society regardless of whether they consent or not. I don't want to go further without thanking each and every one of you for watching, and again, I need you to laugh at how terrified I am of falling this far out of touch. HBO hires trolls to attack and reduce people online who disagree with their fucking message. Games have devs that double down in the face of criticism and utter phrases as hilarious as we are not backing down, only for their drunk community managers to literally call gamers terrorists for not rating their buggy games highly. Entities with open disdain for customers that they actively need to purchase their products to succeed. This is, quote, the new normal? So 2023 can be the year of the layoffs as the ESG winds on down. And it's crazy because open disdain from activists and feminists desperate to ruin things make the next part a little confusing because they'll defend people like Pokimane in a heartbeat because I guess the enemy of the enemy is a friend as far as they're concerned, and any of us with a functioning mind is the enemy. We're toxic, we're misogynists, because we're thinking and we're communicating. So they'll wage their war against the boogeymen that I guess shifts from day to day because the goalpost move is as much as that does. And um, the Twitch girls that took over the site that we used to use to play games on can use it as the campsite that they, I, I guess, envisioned it to be. I certainly hope. It's not people recognizing the patterns in how they're treated by people articulating openly how much they hate any of us and uh, what we are. Hetero, male, not their preferred race, not bowing down to kiss the foot and agree with their bullshit. So, you know, we the villain now and our, our existence is crime. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not a joke. Retroactive changes to what we buy and the reviews hide to diminish our backlash. Subscription services declining us access over something they can't prove. Did you did you hear somebody said that the phrase STFU got someone banned and denied access to their game library? That's a that's the abbreviated version of the term. A garbage movie can come out, and if you say anything about it, that's not good. Then you must be racist and sexist, right? Don't you miss when a movie can just be bad? All of us are forced to think, if a man showed up outside a woman's house <laughs> and did what a certain YouTuber did, would that be okay? Of course not. Because the standards are double. We're men, so we're logical. We're, we understand that the money allows power, and this woman's a valuable asset to something like YouTube as a site. I mean, them's the breaks, you know? More money, less accountable you gotta be. I guess the issue is that it's not just about the money, it's about the double standard where women immediately qualify for defense because they're marginalized and any evidence is overlooked because the men must be toxic to even address the poor, marginalized millionaires is blasphemy. I may not be a member now or ever of Pokimane's flock, but I can speak to you as a broke boy even if you accrue wealth, I'd like you to hold fast to the broke boy mentality and make sure that each and every cent works for you, that you're humbled and treat people with respect, especially if you are making money off of them. I demand that all listening take their money and treat it like their time as a limited asset to be spent, not wasted. Because for every person wasting their life and money they barely have on cookies to inflate the wealth and ego of an e-celeb, there are unsung men and women of all races and beliefs spending their lives in service to preserve the luxurious freedoms we afford where some people can jump up and decide lipstick and a wig is going to make it so they can have a baby. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for those who serve. And regardless of what you think, you're one of those people too. 
You're keeping your head down. You're keeping the wheels moving. You change life and you've changed mine for the better. So thank you because if you're up your ass, just come out of it for a while. You know what I mean? You may think you're not doing much or whatever, but you are affecting change. Whether people remind you or not, nah, you know, they just don't take the time to say it. Maybe you scared them. Maybe they're as antisocial as some of the people you're coming across. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for entertainment that actually prioritizes entertainment over the stale message from out of touch, marginalized millionaires. I'm thankful for the blood, sweat and tears that unsung and unnamed people have poured into work that they hoped might elevate people might distract them from something that's really needing of a, you know what I mean? I, I'm sorry for anyone dragged down <laughs> by these people who only serve themselves and whatever the cult tells them to do. You know, I'm thankful, thankful for my mom who doesn't hear it enough. So if you feel the same way about your parents, you're not alone and potentially failing to find the best ways to articulate it. I don't know why Hogwarts Legacy is on my mind so damn bad, but as mid as it may be because a first game from a studio we've never heard of and so hypocritical of political climate needs to play it safe. But when Hogwarts sells the most games of the year and receives no mention at Keeley's advertisement slop fest, he's calling the game awards <laughs> because of ESG soy boys, right? It doesn't seem fair. And I guess neither is life, I suppose. We would never dream of robbing them of their bare-chested hunks. Your heart throbs. Can you imagine us just talking about, oh, Channing Tatum should put his clothes on. You know, stupid. <laughs> I realize a simp's business is their own, and I don't intend to smack the cookies out of their hands the way that I wish that we could all coexist and get along. But a $7 bag uh, for some cookies that you can, you can only buy in bulk that, that, that they're not going to be fresh. There's no THC in them. That's the crazy. You know, maybe I'm just a different. I'm on a mm, 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 just normal cookies. <laughs> I, I will say it to you like this. If I had quadruple the following and I put something like cookies out there to buy, I'd know people were just getting it to support me. Not necessarily because of whatever it is that I'm offering or because it's practical. And maybe it's the same situation, so she's free to talk to whoever about whatever, but seeing stuff like that, it humbles me. Maybe it humbles you. Beta tester, whoever you are, however you live, whatever you believe, I hope we can put all, uh, all of it aside and share our beliefs without spurging and needing to fight. I hope that we clash in ways that help us grow and see things from multiple perspectives. I hope the knowledge that we provide one another can allow us to make more educated decisions and get further in our lives without having to fuck people over because that seems to be the best way to... And if we all thought like that and acted on that bullshit, it'd be like we were all fucking Zoomers. Even if you can never give, you know, I appreciate you. If you do choose to be a patron, a sponsor, uh, you know, if this channel ever gets monetized again, I appreciate you. Any donation, links in the description, wish list gifts, in the, you know what I mean? Every like and comment, every view, is you exchanging your time to open a door that, to someone like me, might have re remained locked my entire life. When I hear all the Rachel Zegler and Pokimane bullshit, it humbles me the same way that DSP and Wings of Redemption might humble you. Wings needs to be carried in camps with reflexes so bad that only the only thing worth is probably his aim. He thinks he can call people out like he's superior. So he'll just be living as this Cartman for the rest of his life. DSP is a fraud, constantly laying a fresh minefield of contradictory lies that are so headache-inducing that documenting it might make someone's, like, like they, they, it might make them go mad. I shouldn't mention lol cows in a video about Pokimane and her take, but I think as an objective observer, you should recognize how similar the antics are, especially when in the past, when someone else did this, she had the more human take. 
I don't expect millionaires to remain in touch with people scraping to get by, but when your career involves people liking you, maybe hire someone to wrangle you so you don't slip so hard. Because yes, people are dumb enough to keep paying DSP and simping over whomever and that's their choice. But when I heard Rachel Zegler say, They cast a guy in the movie, but all of his scenes could be cut because... And, and she said, and I quote, That's Hollywood, baby. End quote. People were done. It was enough she was kind of attacking this old, this old harmless fucking movie. Sure, it was a product of its time in some ways, but it's a classic that stood the test of time for a reason. And it's being attacked in the same way soy-soaked fucking Brian into Hars with their injection of what they don't know that they want has to beat down Mary Jane because a pretty woman, a curvy woman, a woman with breasts is offensive to the message. It's November 23rd, 2023, and our days are numbered. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Subscribe to me, like and comment, get something off my wish list. It's an early Christmas gift. I'll fight for your right to harmlessly speak your mind, but I also believe that we should accept scrutiny.